Good afternoon, folks. This is your boy from Backyard Pet Perfections. Um, this is going to be a short video clip. This is just basically about proper labeling. I know not too many people put emphasis on labeling, but here we do because we definitely want to keep track of what we're doing, you know, how we're doing it. Um, growing time, we want to keep track of, you know, uh, when something was planted for our own purposes of reference. As you can see right here, folks, we have a Carolina Reaper that was potted on May 15th. May 15th, and you see the, that's the date that we potted it. It's pretty much, when I mean potted it, went from germination to putting it into a, transitioning it into a pot. And it went from germination, so this is the date we actually potted this. And you see a TS right there. Now this is optional because I indicate which soil that I use and basically I use different soils from time to time you know when I'm driving past Home Depot and I see like a nice little sale you know I would see okay cool you know let's get some of that you know but it's also important to keep track of what kind of soil which soil that you use to get in there because it, you might want to sometimes see which one is the best uh, brand for what you're trying to grow um, basically, even though I mix my soil with uh, proper ingredients such as uh, peat moss, I use uh, worm castings. Um, also, there's, uh, as you can see, there's perlite in there. Um, but the soil, TS, topsoil, that's the main soil that I use here. So topsoil, perlite, peat moss, and worm casting. Those are the four things I use. Um, they always treat my peppers well. And you'll probably see on some of these plots that I have over there, and maybe a few over here, as well as a couple over there in my tomato area, you'll probably see something that says MG, that's miracle Grow. But yeah, it's always good to keep track of what soil you use and the date you pot it. You know, for your own personal records. Um, we have been doing, doing this for years. And if I see like, say if I see this date being something like in March, this one's in May, but this one is in May growing faster than the one in March, then we have a problem. Or basically, you know, maybe there's a different in sun um, positioning or whatever, but those dates are very important oftentimes. So labeling is very important for your pots. All right, check you on the next video.